Look at B. Look at B. $20 to anybody who knows what like semi Beyonce reference that was. So the photos have finally arrived. The whole twin anticipation is over. A lot of you guys were acting as if you were carrying them right along with her and you couldn't wait for them to come and they are here and they've arrived. Uh, but today I want to discuss specifically the photo. Why we all need to look at this photo a little deeper and a little longer. The three things I want to talk about is one, her making eye contact with the camera, why that's important, revealing a little bit of skin, why that's important, and why Jay-Z never seems to be in any of the maternity, maternal photo shoots, and why there is some importance to that as well too. First off, let's discuss that gaze, that direct to camera gaze. Now a lot of times when you look at Photos of babies, number one, the mother isn't in them. Most newborn photos are just of the child wearing a 1940s little, what are those things called? Those little side, those little side hats that are also headbands, chapeau. Anyways, they're usually the baby by itself. And if the mother is in it, she is cradling, her face is down, or it's the emphasis really on the child. And what Beyonce has done throughout her pregnancy, both with Blue and now with Rumi and Sir, is asserting a sense of self. Her not losing herself in motherhood, embracing it as an extension of who she is, not a transition or a replacement of who she is. And there's a lot of people who do that, who abandon their erotic self when they put on this new maternal role and they forget that, that part of themselves needs to exist, is important at all, and has a place in society, has a role, that anybody wants to see them as a sexual person because now they are mother and mother and lover are no longer to be used in the same sentence. And I felt encouraged to watch not just Beyonce but so many women um, specifically in media who take on the role of motherhood and don't allow that to be the end of their erotic story and of their place as an individual. I think it's problematic sometimes when I see uh, mothers who exchange their profile photos on social media for that of their kids. Like, you can't lose your identity and while it's an extension of you and a beautiful extension of you, it is not a replacement for who you are. And it is certainly um, is not an excuse to abandon your erotic self, which needs to thrive. It just, it, it needs to thrive. Now I wanna talk about the little itty bits of skin we got showing. Now whether or not she had the mommy makeover, which I think is important to note because the average woman shouldn't be blind to the whole snapback phenomenon that happens. Anyways, so for many women, the transition into motherhood is the separation or the divorce of sexuality, not again, just from herself, but also from society as well. And they don't help by getting the bowl cut and the shapeless t-shirts and that soggy robe and those funky looking slippers. And nonetheless, we're all pretty comfortable to keep them in this box. That that's what makes us feel like, well, you're doing your job as a mother, so long as you're depriving yourself as a sexual person. And as long as you don't engage your children or expose them to any kind of sexuality, they have some semblance of hopefully growing up and not becoming sexual themselves because God forbid we raise healthy, viable, confident, sexually active adults and young adults. Nonetheless, um, her not relinquishing that part of herself because it's not motherly and her determined to allow that to shine through in that little piece of thigh is just a massive it's a massive thank you to all of that. And finally, because it just got hella loud because I live in LA, thank you very much to the city for doing their job and fixing the roads, but no thank you for doing that while I'm trying to film a little video, son. Anyhow though, I want to talk about the fact that Jay-Z is never present in any of these massive maternal moments, whether it be the reveal, the love on top reveal of baby blue and the bump, um, or of course the iconic twin pregnancy reveal photos, and then most recently, and whether that's done to preserve his rap career or his image that he has surrounding his rap career i would i'm not really sure but i would like to think that it's done to give beyonce the space to be adorned appreciated and lusted after for her to be an object of desire and whether that desire comes from other women or it comes from men who wish that that was a mother of their children or dream of that being their kids nonetheless of giving her that space to still be a sexual icon there's actually this website that exists out there where people can submit a photo of their partner consensually and it's usually like a sexy photo of their partner and it is encouraged that people in the comment section make sexual advances about that uh, individual or talk about self-pleasure themselves to that photo or talk about what they would do if they were with that person in that photo and that is for the 
partner of that person to see that, okay, they're still desired out there in the world, that my partner still has a place as a sexual individual and they still have a seat at the table when it comes to being adored, appreciated, and seen by others. So I could, I would like to think that all that is done so that we can do what we're doing right now, which is center our attention and our focus on the sensuality, the beauty, the sexiness, the ownership, the accomplishment that is sacrificing your body and finding yourself in the process and giving life in the process and hopefully connecting with a better and bigger, more beautiful, more vibrant, more sexy, more sensual version of you, which is why I like to think. What is it? I actually always remember that Beyonce said in one of her documentaries that she wrote Partition after she just had Blue and it was at a time when that part of her was so far from reality because she was nursing and going through the whole spit up phase and you know having vomit in her hair and all the above but that she allowed herself to revisit the erotic as a part of reconnecting with a piece of herself that she missed and wanted to reclaim and how much fun shooting that video was and how healthy shooting that video was and so i encourage all you mothers out there to write your own partition to rewrite the script to rewrite the narrative of what it means to be sensual and a mother and the importance of maintaining eroticness through your very important and of course crucial job of raising a healthy individual so i want to hear from you guys in the comment section below what did you think about the beyonce photo what was your gut reaction not just like yas honey like how did it really make you feel when you tuned into yourself? And let's hypothesize because it's fun. Why do you think that Jay-Z is never in any of these like major monumental photo op moments? And then finally, all of my mothers out there, how have you preserved your sensuality or what has been your struggle with, perver with preserving perverting? What's been your struggle with perverting yourself? Eh. Due to popular demand, I am now podcasting daily on Anchor FM. Now, that is a place you guys can go to ask questions. You actually leave voice notes, and then I answer your questions. So go to anchor.fm slash shambooty to sign up and to have your daily questions answered. I get it, girl. Oh, yeah, I get it, girl. Yeah, 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 I get it, girl. Get a girl. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, get a girl. Uh, 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 u